Maybe because I'm high. Welcome back, you guys, to Peach Sesh TV. This is episode of Bain Piocho. We all grown here and shit, you know what I'm saying? You did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we have a little different uh, setup today. I don't have Jaw Boom in the motherfucking room today. What you got me? I definitely have Blunt Spills Bonds, uh, because they do. Because they do. <laughs> Thank you for, you know, taking over Job Boom's job. Anytime, big sis. Thanks, thanks. Gang shit. And then we have another special guest here. You guys might know him as the Bum Bum DC, right? Or, can I say government? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like Miguel! It. Hey! Love my government name. It's a whole Spanish name, Miguel. My father's name, Miguel. They call me Miguelito. Ah, I know. <laughs> Poquito cariño. Oh, there you go. Well, we'll get into you know, to you in a minute. <clears throat> but thank you for coming. Is this the first time uh, listening Vision Studios? Yeah, first time. Uh, brought my brother with me. He's not on camera, but you know what I'm saying. He will camera be show? chiming in. He will be chiming in. So be I'm ready here. for some good talks, man. It's gonna I'm be in fun. the building. Uh, thanks for having me, Miss Peach. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you for man. rolling this this nice. Fat old boy. <laughs> when you said I don't take dabs, I just roll doints. I was like, all right, we're smoking doints in Amish. <laughs> but but I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and rip one with you tonight. Appreciate it. I'm appreciate a little intimidated it. by that stuff, but it is what it is. I mean, my brother would probably do that with you. Know? Nah, dab. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll rip dab one scared you. me. Dab scared, scared, scared you. That's the best part. Dab See, it gives you a little man. bit of adrenaline, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a blood flowing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sorry, I live in D.C. I got enough of that. Yes. So, as you guys know, I always drink my little, you know, 40. Just a little 40 mm-hmm. on the show every Monday. Indeed. But this guy right here, I'm like, yo, you want a Corona? What you want? What you want for 40? And he said, no, can I get a more light, please? <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta have the all American beer, man. Ain't nothing like all American middle light beer, baby. God like, bless America, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we actually petitioned the court to change his name to Mike. <laughs> wow. No, yeah, that's no, like he's a, no the longer. most American he's name not his, He's not Hispanic American. He <laughs> is an American. He's right? Mike. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know who my dad is? <laughs> Augustine. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. What is that we're smoking? This is a straight lemonade. Really, straight very, lemonade. Straight lemonade. Very, very good sativa. Oh, very oh good. good. Good you gave me sativa because I'll probably like pass yeah, out. Yeah, and the, again, the, like, the other one comes after. Okay. The knockout. Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you a little bit what we do here at Listen Vision Studios. WLVS Radio. You know, we keep things... We, we do a lot of things here um, throughout the week. But the shows I'm going to showcase are mine, okay? Uh, is every Monday night from 10 to 11 p.m. There's my little flyer that I made for episode 28. Um, make sure you guys always come out and be a part of the live audience. If you can't, make sure you guys watch it online. My views have been going up, so thank you so much. Um, I would appreciate you guys if you guys follow me on my social medias. That's Hi Little Peach DC, Peach Sesh TV, and Terpiana. Uh, also, make sure you guys follow me on my uh, YouTube channel. But that's every night, every Monday night, you guys. It's a late night show, so things might get a little weird. Zesty. <laughs> <laughs> Zesty, even better. So read the fine print. Make sure you, make sure you guys just stay tuned and uh, check what happens. Definitely read the fine print. <laughs> and I'll tell her what you run into. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday nights we just retired one of uh, two of our shows actually the one two punch um PD we miss you and district wow oh my god I forgot my little co- oh my god I forgot one thing huh I had a little I had a little baby koala and I was gonna bring him I'm like hey we replaced you with him and you know he just dipped today that? too man he's in Boston he just went to Boston yeah. it's Boston a Boston Boston I say it with New York accent in Boston the car. when go far oh god <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good uh, but that was Tuesdays Wednesdays we rest like baby Jesus Thursday nights though quality content comes through this joint with Blunt Spills Bond for Weedhead TV from 9 to 10 p.m. 
hosted by Blunt's Bill Bonds. Cause they do. I love that. We're going to keep it going. We're keeping it going. Go ahead, y'all. I love it. No, for real. Content that- made for we heads by we heads. Yes. You what did. episode we in? Uh, 17, I believe. We skipped last. Oh, God. This is. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big screen. Mm. Oh. Tastes quite exquisite, my fellow. <laughs> We'll, we'll play shout around out, when it shout comes. Shout out, hello, Peach, man. I see y'all don't. And every time Peach brings through some guests, they always come correct. You did. Definitely. They know what that is. You don't. Know no skinny that. shit. No skinny shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is every. Oh wait, are you gonna have something special on Thursday? Uh, not today. I know you said you <laughs> skipped. Yeah, we skipped Thanksgiving, but, but the week before we had bouquet rolling papers. I know. Lo- so. Local, you know what I'm saying? Black-owned paper rolling company, and uh, it was pretty smooth. Uh, next week, I don't know. We might do something special next week. But this week, since we had the week off, we're really just going to be catching up on everything. It was a lot of wild yeah, shit. Right. You feel me? So, wild shit of the week. Be expecting that. You feel <laughs> me? Wild shit of the week. Right? That's how it goes? <laughs> the little uh, song? For real. Yeah, this shit's smacking. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... What uh, is this? Straight lemonade. Straight lemonade. Hey, if you ever go check out some straight lemonade... No, I'm just playing. No, it's literally <laughs> straight... Straight. S T R eight lemonade. Oh, that's funny. Bottle exclusive. <laughs> yeah, this shit tastes uh, good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> must be a bunch. Friday nights, you guys. We come into the studio Sativa. with Huffman for the Stoner Hour. <laughs> yeah, fuck up, man. <laughs> and anybody you know, that hang with him. You know when uh, when I first heard the word Huff, I thought they were. There's a lot of shit that I'm like super naive about in terms of today's terminologies, but yeah. Huff was one of them where I thought if he said you thought it was some breathing, that was some fucking garbage. Right? Yeah, it is. It is, it is right? Yeah, it is definitely. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. So who, so who would call themselves Huff Man? Well, oh, so a person that consistently has Huff. Huff, yeah. So, so there's a series between. Uh, it's a serious yes. battle. Between Super High and Huff Man. Yes. And Super High is trying to make sure everybody has the gas and, you know, the top shelf pack. And Huff Man is just serving everybody Huff. So Don't Super Man try, Super High trying to Huff. Not only. Yeah, he's trying to stop him. He's trying to stop him. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to stop Huff Man. So just be on the side of Super High and say fuck Huff Man. <laughs> it's a real person. It's a real person. Nah, it's, it's, it's a real <laughs> nah, it, it, it. <laughs> It's on the corner. <laughs> this is a whole thing. <laughs> No, nah, it's, it's something I do on my Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Huff. But it's, it's a shot at all the people huff. that have Huff. Right. Because you smoke what you're selling, so I know you know you got some Huff, but you're still selling it, though. You know what I'm saying? I, so I, we talking about y'all. Yeah, y'all make... You're oh, making the city look bad. <laughs> make yourself when look bad. I, yeah, definitely. When I get around Huff, I start catching rashes. And headaches right. and stuff, right? Headaches. That's what I'm saying. You got to call like Super High. He come, he come stop it. I feel like I'd rather smoke mids than... Fucking huff. Mids is huff. <laughs> mids, mids. At least you know what you're getting. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. You right. You definitely right. right. Like that chocolate tie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm gonna say this. Yeah. See, in Atlanta, we call we call huff uh, air pack. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you breathing air. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not getting high. You just breathing that air. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for the air pack out there. With all you huff, man. Right. My spider so, senses come on and just tell me to avoid huff. Right. Yeah, I know, and that's why we need super high because some you people really don't have spidey, spidey senses, senses, so they need super high to come through and tell you that it's no. huff. I walk you on these, me? these evil DC mean streets, and sometimes in my spider sense, they walk to the left. It's there's huff, huff over the there. It's huff in the air. Get away! There's huff. Si- <laughs> si- si- sidestep, <laughs> sidestep this street right here, man. It's no, for real. Yeah. God, it's lit. But then, but then you get to a place where you smell something that's worth it, and you get like the cartoon. Because you know you smell it on the block. And, and that smoke just gets in your air. You start you like, kind of floating over to it, like, like, <laughs> like it's a piece of bacon or something. You're like, hold up. And you it's start over looking, here. You start looking around, like, hey, where is this magical place <laughs> that has this sweet smelling aroma? And you know who's smoking it Because he's either somebody on that balcony Just smiling and chiefing like yeah, I, I know right I got that fire Because the good gas make you excited That's why Peach always just be smiling when she get high You know what I'm saying She be on the good gas She just get to smiling She yeah. don't be saying nothing 
So this just has guys. been what a year, a year, about a year in the making. Me and you just like kind of sitting and chilling and chatting. Yeah, about a year. About now. a year. Yeah. Oh my god. Damn, time yeah. flies, yo. Nah, for Ain't real. It's crazy. I told her earlier we were on the phone. I told her I said, uh, I said that uh, ever since I met her, she's always I've always had this inkling of like, ma- wanting to make sure that she was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause she she she's uh she's got a good head on her shoulder. She does, so, man. Like you know, I, it was only a matter of time. You know, what I'm definitely. Saying? But, and it shows as a host, man, because she definitely nah, she's, she's awesome. very strategic. I, I've been watching her <laughs> about who she hey. brings through, right? I've you know what I'm saying? Her. I've been wa- I've been Appreciate keeping it. a real close eye on this. Hey, girl. I love Appreciate Peach, it. man. Y'all better get That's hip. True. I appreciate it every nah, time. All the love, I really do. I, I told him, I told the same thing. It's like when I talked to him the first time, it was like he was family. Like I've known him forever. It was just natural. Yeah. Not literally would like pull energy. up and just chill and just smoke with y'all. Like oh. keep that energy going. Right, exactly. Her, it was like mm-hmm. she's doing her thing. We're doing our thing, you know. And eventually our paths will cross. And look at us now. We're here. And let's let's do this. Let's continue this shit, right? Nah, no, for real. Well, let's get to it then. Um. Here you go. I want to take a little break, but it's okay. I need us. I need to open my I beer. Can I? I was drinking that. Can? Uh, yeah, right. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you gave me. I said lighter, but you want to be nice. Man, use the bottle opener. Be civilized. No. Yeah, we thugging, we dog. Probably, yeah, we going. Yeah. We going straight. I'm late. So what? What? Uh, it's word on the street, right? Mm-mm. What's trending today? Oh, what's trending? What's trending this week? Let's see what's trending. <laughs> so, like you were just uh, talking about, you know, we've been here. I think it's like, I've been in this industry for about like two years now. And I'm definitely still growing. Definitely. I've had a lot of idols um, and to people I look up to in this community. You're definitely one of them. I, you're, you're amazing at what you do. Uh, you're, you think differently. You think outside the box. You're not trying to do what everybody else is doing. That's you right. look... And you see what people are doing, and you're like, "Fuck it, I'm doing something I'm completely doing different." Right? Exactly. exactly. That that takes guts and courage, and you're definitely one of them. I've had the privilege to know in District Davis. I mean, he's yeah. another one. Group big, like big pioneering. Idol. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Phone homie. I mm-hmm. could go. The list goes on pioneers. and on. Exactly. Trailblazers. I, I'm blessed to say I have this this much in the book of legacies i'm gonna have this part much part into it like i'm not gonna have a big part i'm just gonna have this much but it's okay hey, at every, least my name is right every exactly at count. least my name is gonna be in it your part will be defined by the people you will always stay humble in that in that sense and i noticed that you're always gonna say that always gonna say that and no, i'd probably say the same thing too but yeah. i'd probably be a little bit more aggressive with <laughs> you, but, you know what i'm saying but yeah your your, your place will be will be cemented within the community and that that's 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 really where it's at that's the payoff I'm telling you. i be telling her with this show when i saw them numbers going up I'm telling you now don't be exp- don't be surprised if it go full time <laughs> hosting you know what I'm saying? So, so I'll tell you what be like I'll ricky tell, lake tell, out so, here i'll tell you what happened right so like me me and, me and ramon my brother right so you know it's three of us well it's four of us you know but whatever yeah um, we we sat and we talked about like so I'm a numbers guy right like I mm-hmm. love stats I follow people's stats I look at views I look at numbers, numbers all that all got that to I'm googling your ass I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm watching you know what I'm saying where's your placement on Definitely the boards said that. all that shit you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. search engine optimization if you fuckers don't yeah, know SEO about yeah. it yeah get fuck. hip to SEO man <laughs> that is how you make it out here. You feel me? Hey, you but dropping gems. That's what I'm we, saying. We, we 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 paid attention to that, and I, and I was telling him, and I told my other uh, brother too, how, and I'll tell you this too to your face, like it's the truth, because your numbers have been going up. Yes. And I'm noticing, and that's so. I'm I'm, I'm so I pick up on shit like that, and I told Ramon, there's I was literally on the ride over here. I said, Ramon, you know, I do everything for a reason. He said, I know. He said, that's why I just leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> you do. But there's a reason why I asked her to come. I asked. I asked her to come here. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely agree. It's because I, I know her numbers are going up. The views are getting up there. Yeah, I man. need people to know uh, where we stand in all of this. Um, mm-hmm. I want people to know. You know what I mean? You're supposed uh, so to. That's why I'm here. I know she's got the platform for it. You know what I mean? And uh, supporting the movement. I'm, oh my God! You're getting me. I'm grateful man. to be rubbing shoulders with you. Appreciate Puss. it. Puss. Oh, shout out to Hollow Peach, man. Oh. I am so happy she's back. Sister. Yes. 
Mi hermana. Oh, but let's get let's let's get let's get into this. Another person we should be proud of is your girl Rihanna. She is just became the first black woman to spend 200 weeks on the Billboard's 200 charts. Wait, what? That's four years. Right. And what the last album she dropped was Anti. Anti. Right. Can we give her some more? Three years ago. Yeah. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Shout out to Riri. I love Riri. Riri. I love her. Riri. Yes. Hi, right, Riri. So she's doing that. I know she got that billion there, but if you want you a little regular, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm here, baby. She's getting them billionaires. I know. Not, I, know. Not the I can't match up. Billions. I can't match up. I know. Princes and shit. It yeah. gives a country. Shit. Mm. We imaged her. Man. Said fuck it. You talking about umbrella? Oh no! Nah, before, no, before, before umbrella. Before umbrella? Oh, never mind. Then. Never mind. You don't even know mind. y'all before yeah, umbrella? No. Oh hell no! no. What? Oh hell no! I didn't know. Wait. I'm young though, man. Shit. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I was saying. I know this girl, her manager trying to get her to do like some Lil' Kim sex type shit. I'm like, you don't like that. You like gaming. Who that? Exactly. Wait. Can I say this though? I feel like the the part that plays. All right, I feel like a lot of people chase a deal because of the money instead of thinking about a career and longevity to where they want to wait it out and actually see what they can be offered. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what to be offered. Right. Some people they just jump at the deal, right? Jump on it. And sign. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Shout out to Riri, man. She made it happen. Yeah, she's doing everything. She's doing fashion hey, line. She's doing makeup, cosmetic industry. What's like up, Riri. Right? So you gotta be exactly. <laughs> Shoot your shot. Twenty nineteen, baby. <laughs> right. No, Another person. Let's go into let's go into War on the Street, right? So, you I've seen on you know on IG same thing. I check you out, you know, oh, and I have street, some pictures. I have I've seen some pictures of some little mini yous walking around. I believe three, right? Right? Yeah. Three mini yous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what's the best thing about parenting? What's the best thing about parenting for me? Uh, you know, all right, so. When, so I have a I have a 17 year old, Woo! and then there's a big age gap from my 17 to my two little ones, which are yeah. six and five, right? Mm-hmm. So for me, the best thing about parenting right now is kind of getting to do it all over again with my two little ones. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I feel like my son was a little bit different. Like, like you, you got know, that 17, and I now had, you got a whole had, other I generation. Had some errors that, yeah. that I made with him. And so I'm trying not to do the same this time, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But I, got, I, I mean, I love being a parent. I mean, my brother tell you the same thing. He's got two amazing children himself. You know, we're 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 up there, man. You know, we're family, man. At the end of the day, you know, we we have our fun. We do what we do, and uh, we smoke a shit ton of weed. Of but, course. You know, <laughs> at the day, we we take care of what we need to take care of. Definitely. So. <laughs> but it's but like I love you. being a parent. I mean, no, I mean, the best thing in the world is being a parent. Cause you, know you get I mean? to you get to teach somebody else from your mistakes. Yeah, I mean, and then you don't realize that you're teaching, but like you're doing it all the fucking time. Exactly. Like, always looking up to you. Just like Cause getting, they watching. From getting out of bed, like you're and brushing always your teeth, teaching. Yeah. right? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> brush your teeth. You don't brush your teeth, baby. Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong answer. Wrong answer. I'm telling you. Hey man, listen. Look, shout I'm out not. I'm not a parent. At all, I'm I have a dog. I, but shout out to those that don't perish. The, the most thing <laughs> I'm going to be excited about whenever I do have a child is that Snoop Dogg is dropping a lullaby album. Hold up, hold up, hold up, what? hold up! Stop the press, Snoop what? Dogg. Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Man, I be teaching my baby about no weed, <laughs> man. He yo. doing lullabies. 
Yo, I think he's like super fucking smart. He's like the king of fucking rebranding himself. Because he I did the gospel everything. album too, right? He's done everything. Uh, he really has. Everything. But a lullaby. A lullaby. Bye bye, 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 bye. <laughs> so y'all know he has like tons of hits. Like, you know, you gonna juice, know. drop it like it's hot, and even sexual sensation, you know. So Time he's basically going it. to just basically just twist it around. Whoa. This is so fucking intriguing to me. You Take got a nizzle bizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs to understand that all there, the cool There you people. are. There you are. Look. Like, like he popped out, right? <laughs> like, uh, I'm sorry. I was just enjoying this legend OG. This shit is delicious. Shit. <laughs> delicious. Got Everybody got to understand, though, like, hey. like all the cool people are having kids. But Snoop Dogg, bro. I'm he got like five kids. He got he's like been rapping kids. about marijuana all his, not all his life, but for a long time. And for him to come out with a lullaby, I know he, yo, yo, he does I know he can do it because he's so musically inclined. Right? He's, he's, he does a show with does the steward. Bro, right. he's a DJ now. He be DJing now. He, doesn't he don't even have a rap no more. How do, you, <sighs> how do you associate yourself with Martha Stewart? That's Bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? This, this marijuana. Is <laughs> marijuana. Because you know she saw that game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's too right. She is too calm. I need what? to hear a sample track of something. No, I, she's just, he's basically just going to make a uh, like a remix to the, his like his Oh, to his already uh, made song. Exactly. So like Gin and Juice Lullaby. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my baby be like. Hey, he needs to collaborate with like Gin. Beethoven, bro. Gin, <laughs> Cause that's what I would like my kids listen like Beethoven, like super smart stuff. Gin <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> sensual seduction. <laughs> what you know about that? Like, no, it has to be baby babies. Like, I know, right? Anyway. This uncle, oh, we call him Uncle Snoop for a reason, so I feel like he can do it. Look, if he drops a remix with like Beethoven's, like. Oh, like that. Yeah, if he does that, that's shit. Bro, if he, just, if he just if get he on track, lullaby and good night. I'm buying this shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Uncle Snoop. Shit drops December 6th, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on the lookout. He didn't look drop no, no Christmas album. He was like, fuck I mean, that, my baby gonna be kind of late to it, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get it when <laughs> I have a baby. <laughs> Sleep, right? You me? <laughs> but he didn't make it. No, he wow. told you. Yeah, what'd he say? But for what? We don't let him out. Yeah, so he told knows. you not to make a baby, so you wrong. I think I got a pocket full of now rubbers he's making in my <laughs> do, do too. too. You feel me? I mean, he was telling you what's up. Like, I got rubbers. I'm going to use them. Oh, All God. Right. All right. <laughs> no, I'm just like, I'm just like. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do what was he thinking? I right, we'll okay. go to the next segment. Real quick. Right. What was he thinking? So, Miguel, you know the world is super brutal, right? Of course. You know, they expect so much from us as entertainers, yes. etc. Has anybody given you some like an advice that you haven't asked for or just an advice? Yes. Like, be like, you need to change this up so you can All get more time. followers or likes or whatever. Yeah. Oh, the social media based yeah. shit. Yeah, or anything. Beyond okay. social media. I think no, I mean you know well, I mean social media no, I don't think I don't think no. No. Because uh yeah, no, I don't think anybody I don't I don't think uh, I don't think I give anybody any reason to say that to me. I don't think I don't, I don't. Oh, because you like covering all the bases already. Nah, because I just cover what I wanna cover. Like I don't oh, give yeah. a shit what anybody thinks. You know, I like, know. I feel I kind of feel the same way, but see, I do clothes and stuff, so it's like it's people always like but yeah, you need to do like clothes, bandanas. With clothes, with clothes, and you, yeah, like, you always get you always get a lot of ideas with clothes. Like who's gonna buy bandanas though? But like, like with you know social know? media, with social media, uh-huh. like, it's, it's a little different. Like you don't, you don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I have never. I, I'm thinking right now. I have never. Bon my petite. Anyone has ne- no one has ever told me how to, like. Go about handling anything on social media. I mean, if you're not studying social media, it don't tell me anything. That's how I feel. But I study it, so I feel like I can drop a couple gems. But that's neither here nor there. Oh no, I, I'm, I'm all about some it. Some people do I, try I would, to tell I would, you. I would appreciate the feedback. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, and that's that's but where it becomes I think a difference. People get nervous and even saying something. It's the difference <laughs> like, between feedback and you trying to tell me how to run my <laughs> stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can like, tell me, oh, I like this, I don't like that. Like, I'm open to criticism. I'm always. I'm always open to it. Like I've never been confrontational. I may speak right. my mind, you know what I mean, but I've never been one to be like, "Oh, fuck your opinion." Or no, whatever, yeah, because you, you want to know where you can be better. But like at the end of the day, like I, I, you know, 
I just wish people would take that approach a little bit more sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You know, and just a be more, more subtle open. approach. Like, and I think, I think, and I think this is kind of like a perfect like segue into like, oh, you need a light. Yeah. Hit this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that too. Hit that. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I mean, perfect segue. Like I said, there's a lot of people who I feel like, um, you know, they should, uh, they should be a little bit more open with them, with, with like the community and the public and like yeah. know, being more supportive, you know? Definitely. A lot of people say certain things and they want to, you know, be supportive, but like, you know, we, we've done our part, we're doing our part and we, we're going to continue to do our part because at the end of the day, what we want to what we want to do is bring bring new light to the community. You know, there's a lot of bullshit going on in D.C. You know, Definitely. a lot of bullshit. And I mean, this, it, this is this is uh, what is it that they say? It's like a, it's, it's an ongoing thing. People always talk about it, right? I mean, you know, of course, do, but you know what you're doing by speaking on it is what's gonna bring awareness. That's all that's that matters. Thing. It's like, I, and I'm not gonna put anyone out there. All I'm gonna say is yeah, people that. should take accountability for how they're presenting themselves to the people because like, it represents a certain yeah, community yeah man exactly man, so like you know you hear a lot of stories man people are not people people aren't safe man yeah you know until they until they really meet some good people and and that that just comes with uh the i don't want to say the game but it's like it comes essentially with the it yeah you with feel your associates so you have to fill it out yourself but it's like it shouldn't be that way i understand where you're coming from but it's like I, I feel like being that you know that that would start the it would spark the energy to create that environment to where people wouldn't have to worry about that. They can come through and oh I know yeah man it's been good. Any you should be the one that be like hey man listen I know this out here we got a safe haven boom 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 put it yeah, together. Yeah that's all it is man it's just like I think just everybody should kind of like get together let's really build a fucking community everybody a community. community but there really isn't a community. <laughs> they don't know the meaning of community. Ooh, you like, what's the real true meaning of exactly. it? Exactly. So. It's not just a word. You like, feel me? Right. Let's really be a community. Let's let's sit down. Let's have a cold. Let's have some round table discussions. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Let's open up some ideas. Let's see how we can collaborate and make some noise out here in the city and put the city on the map. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Let me just let me just Yeah, that definitely also claps out for that one, you truth. feel me? It's the truth. That's how I feel, man. I mean I have a lot of respect for everybody. You know, I don't cross nobody and you know. We just want people to have a good time out there. We want people to enjoy safe spaces. Of course. Where people can hang out, relax, and... And enjoy their earth. You know, judgment free. <laughs> you did. You know? <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I did and, that. And enjoy the best cannabis possible. You know, like... I Dad. definitely agree with that. I want to always enjoy the best. Number, mm. number one concern. You said the like, best. The enjoy, best. Enjoy some of the best cannabis. You nice. did. Without yeah, having me, a, sign me up. Without, without having to bust people's head <laughs> and prices, talking about this. It'll this get there one day. Yeah, uh, we just yeah. gotta start getting yeah. our grow game right, man. Uh, but anyway, this is another, yeah. this is another <laughs> show, another <laughs> subject. Look, your boy, uh, Blueface, actually just helped rappers. Blueface, here. baby. Yeah, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> he helped rappers out and told them <clears throat> to get a fucking chain. All new artists buy a chain. Because being a rapper is like a popularity contest. <laughs> I mean, essentially, it is. <laughs> this is so funny. It's we real. We talked about <laughs> I said to Ramon, I said, yo, See? let's get a fucking chain. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Yes. Because <laughs> let's get a fucking chain. Yeah. This is what we forget. Why? This is what we forget. Why would you get? Why would you because get? Because, because, because you saw it on the it's, TV. It's, yeah. it's, it's entertainment. Cool. No. <laughs> That's right. It's entertainment, man. Yeah, man. This is entertainment. We forget. See, people they try to get into the rap game because it's an <laughs> art. They got the right bars and they got no. This no. is entertainment. Do you see who signed right now? You feel what I'm saying? Anything, blah blah blah. E N T. Entertainment. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? That gets signed. That gets it's signed. I can. So do that. they have to have an image to portray this certain. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, they it's, gotta have images, man. Speaking it's of all images. entertainment, but it's some real money behind it, and that's why they buy these chains. Some of yeah. them are fakes, most of them are most real. Most of them are fake. Uh, there was a YouTube no, most, channel with a lot of people like, out here that buy real shit. There's, it's a couple there's, there's real. There's this guy on YouTube. I just saw it like three days ago. I swear to God, oh, it's so testing. stupid. But he literally had was walking around a mall testing diamonds, just like, random jewelry. Like, yeah. like, hey, can I test and see if it's real? And people were like, yeah, go ahead. And uh, some of them jobs are fake. Some of the things. Can I real. say this? Can I say but this? It was pretty embarrassing for those that Ooh. were fake. Fake wild buster can't bust me. 
Y'all don't know crazy. about Faith Watch Bus, do y'all? Was it was a whole Instagram page dedicated to pointing out people who had fake watches in the game. It's called mm. Fake Watch Bustle. Bust yeah, man. It's crazy. You know what that? <laughs> and I'm telling you that it's like people from the entertainment industry, this is like, man, it's an image. I just got to have this to show I got this. Yes. But you don't know who really out here watching it. No, hold up. Nah, his setting is wrong. The way he got this, nah, that's fake. And they was pointing people out. So now people <laughs> have to start buying real jewelry now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. I'm they telling you, man. I, honestly, I would just like to rent a chain for an hour. <laughs> and that's what somebody <laughs> needs to start. Chain rentals. I just want to rent one for an hour. Chain know? rentals. That's what we need to start doing. Because if these rappers get a stole, for the insurance night, for the weekend. For the weekend, you got a VIP party at a club. No, nah, not just for the weekend. Chains. What? They got to take pictures in these, so they got to rent it out for the month. Imagine that. Hey, come, That's how we come get drop, them. Come drop your kid off. You know, when you bring the chain back, we let your kid go. <laughs> Damn. Hold on. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. But we do have insurance policies that will cover. It's too much, man. What <laughs> is your insurance policy? You know? I, mean, I don't like jewelry. I, I really don't like it. Yeah, it's too jewelry. flashy, right? I, I, no, I could care less if it was small. I don't like jewelry. I feel uncomfortable with it. Yeah, I, I want a chain. You want a chain? Yeah, I, I want mean, a chain. You know, little stuff like an earring or a necklace or something, or a ring. It's like certain stuff. Be. But too much, it brings too much attention. That's what I feel like. I'm just gonna have it just because peach, peach, like her, like, her weed and her like chakra, a, like chakra necklaces. I, like I, would, right I would probably buy a chain and put it around my dog oh, and see if anybody that. tries to get that. He's an American Stafford Shire. You didn't what? I, Somebody I, I, it was I, his it was his internet it was his dog on the internet who had a chain, bro. He had a Cuban link. He went to a concert. Somebody stole the chain out the dog neck, man. Not my dog. Dog was just nice. Like yeah, I take it. Uh-uh. Your dog would have bit him. <laughs> my dog gonna bite you. He's <laughs> gonna lock on your. <laughs> He gonna bite your face. <laughs> no, nah, for real. It could have been a pit bull, right? <laughs> well, shout out to Blueface. I guess he was trying to help people out, you know, but he really didn't do much because people were giving him flashback and stuff like that. So he inspired the song. I mean, he inspired the name Terpiana with his song. <laughs> of course. So, Us. You know. Pero, uh, just shout out to him, I guess. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm sorry, we went totally off mm-hmm. subject, but I gotta follow her to piano From what he was I'm, saying, I'm that, though. from what he was it's saying, thing. you shouldn't sign a deal if you can't afford to buy your mother a house, get your mm-hmm. grandmother off thirty thousand dollar dialysis, and buy a chain. Cause chains ain't that expensive if you really want to go there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you couldn't do all that off you signing, you shouldn't sign that deal. That's all I'm gonna say. It's, it's, it's simple math. It's simple math. You get a certain amount of money. Uncle Sam gets a certain amount of money from it. Well, they don't. Some, they don't. You got a certain amount of money left, but they don't understand that. They don't realize it. That part I understand that, but I'm just saying, some people, it's it's a gimmick now, man. Some people get these. We know rappers get stuff on credit, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, don't I know, know you was let's, trying let's, to segue, but I just I had to say it. I'm sorry. Let's 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 continue on, shall I, we? Let's let's do this interview real quick. You yeah, know, let's, let's do this, man. You know, let's just get it out the way. <clears throat> you ready for the hard questions? Let's go. All right. <laughs> um. So let me see. Where am I? Okay. So I researched your name. Bum, bum, DC. Bum. Right. I done my research. I don't think the people of have course. known. But you want to educate the people? Get us here. By this German name. Bomb is the German word for tree. Bam. Uh, so that's all it is. Just a different way of playing with words. And um, why German? Uh, just because it sounds cool. It was the coolest thing that we could find. And um, there was a little help with uh, some of the ideas behind all that. And um, we thought that uh, if we're going to bring a lifestyle brand to DC, then it would have to be something clever. Something as you say, outside the box, right? Bomb. And, uh, <laughs> and that's what it is. And so, a lot of people, when you say bomb DC, they're like, Oh, is it B O M B? No, 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 no. no, no, no. You see, you like, Damn, this shit look, look, it, it look exclusive, would you? Yeah. Like, a, it's like a perfume line, yeah, it's pretty bomb. good. I mean, we're running with it, no, you know, definitely. We, 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 um, we take a lot of pride with, with, with the name, and um, you know, we're doing a lot of work with uh different entities in the community uh not just the 420 community but like you know the whole dmv definitely you know uh, we're collaborating with a lot of different painters so can i ask you, know, you one so, thing uh-huh. sorry for cutting you yeah, off go ahead. 
What? Because it's treat, right? Yeah, it's treat. Treat. What is your specialty treat? What do you? What is your only place we can find this at? Is if we mess with bomb. What do you mean? I don't understand. You said it's treat. 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 Oh, like treat. treat. Yeah, oh, you, never mind. Treat. My bad. Yeah. I was. I was off. Tree. I was off. T R E E. We ain't gotta say no more. I thought it was food. I'm yeah, hungry. So it just made sense, you know. It just it, it, it made sense, and so that's that was the whole thought process behind it, you know. I mean, I can go into a whole backstory with it, but you know, there's a lot more to it. Right. But uh, you know. <laughs> I I always call you bum boys because I know there's more. There's multiple people. You know, yeah. But that's besides the case, you know. It's we say team. bum. Right. Team. Exactly. Yeah. Just the whole team. Um. We, I've known you, again, about like a year, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And I know that you've been out here for a while. How long? <laughs> uh, I mean, so everybody thinks that it's like been, I was telling her earlier, everybody thinks that it's like since 2018, like, you know, that's when we came up with the whole bond thing and, you know, but, you know, it's, 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 it's a group of brothers and we, you know, we've, 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 We've it's truly a, of, a lifestyle. We've, 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 we've done a lot of growing up in, in, in this in this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um this is this this is this is years years in the making. Uh it just came official. It's a culmination and uh we're we're not done, you know. We we got a lot of things still to accomplish, a lot of work to put in. Um and I think the people are gonna be <coughs> pleased with the results, you know. And just got to keep going. And as long as we continue to rub shoulders with people like Miss Peach. Indeed. Then, you know, it's, you. It, there's no 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 reason why uh, we can't succeed. So, Well, here in Peach Slash TV, I always say that we are productive potheads. You know, we get shit done. Definitely. So what are some, like, big success or accomplishments that you feel like you've been blessed with? Me personally, I won't talk about, like, you know, I have my own story, but, like, when it comes to me and my brothers, uh, you know, we've we've just we've just we've just uh, we have we have a full on art gallery. You know what I mean? Like we have an art gallery and a beautiful lounge uh, that people can come and hang out and chill with us. You know, and uh, we take a lot of pride in. It. And like I said earlier, we we collaborate with a lot of a lot of different painters. Mm-hmm. Who together they bring uh, all their art pieces in to, you know, allow us to showcase them to the people, mm-hmm. things like that. So uh, people just gotta come check it out. You know, as long as they give us a follow, they'll they'll see what's up. It's that's pretty cool. cool. That's why he says that's really what I would call a lifestyle brand. It's more than just a um, product or service. It's about putting people on. It's about you know making people want to be better. Want to you want to introduce them to a new. Lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? I hate yeah, live it. live jazz on Friday. Like, live people, what's that little thing that came out on Netflix? Um, that little show. What's the name well, of the little show of with, the, with, the, uh, <laughs> with the with the weed? Uh, what's the name? Disjointed. Nah. Which was, one? Uh, weed. The green something. Huh? It, well, there was a documentary that oh, came out talking yeah. about the the link to jazz and marijuana. I know. Oh right yeah. Now, but, like there was a link to jazz and marijuana even before that that whole thing came out. Like we were already doing the jazz every Friday night, and we're still continuing to do it. Like mm-hmm. We bring some really, really amazing fucking talent from all over DC Dope. to come in and put an amazing display of music and entertainment for the people. It's amazing. You got to come by and see it. Mm-hmm. Man, you heard yeah. it first, yes. people. You guys, I'm. Um, yeah, I wish. That's the culture, man. That's exactly. for the culture. You feel me? You got to give them out. I'm telling you, you bomb. Give back Damn, y'all skip my. Y'all skip my man like that? You got to pass that one down this way. He been out here waiting patiently. And I've been noticing the white ash. I love that. You know what I'm saying? It's clean earth. Sweet gas. I want to take a dab before I end it. Take a dab. It's your show. Let me take a dab real quick, Okay, so, all right, while you taking a dab, I'm going to keep the interview going. So what should we expect from Bomb? I know you, you're trying to be humble and you don't want to drop any. All right, so what yeah. you should expect from us is uh, there's a lot of things. Like, you know, first and foremost, this is inspiring for me uh, to be here uh, because uh, Tom and brother said, like, you know, just like, I was like, it's a, I was like, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a sweet little spot, you know what I mean? And we want to make sure that uh, people understand uh, that we have this art gallery, we have 
an amazing lounge space. Uh, we're putting together uh, um, a podcast room. Mm-hmm. We're going to be doing podcasting, uh, things like that. Uh, and like I said, we take a lot of inspiration from uh, places like this, you know what I mean, who have already been established in the communities. Uh, and uh, that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to do the same thing uh, and just, um, you know, give it a little bit of a different uh, different angle, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. And uh, like I said, I can't wait for uh, Miss Peach later to come and join me on that set. No, nah, for real. It's going to be Dope. great. So, you it's know, we're definitely set it up real nice. So. It's awesome, man. Like you man. said, it's I'm inspiring, bro. That. So that, that's what we're looking forward to, man. And keep keep watching out for some cool shirts, some cool designs coming up. Cool Got art, mine. some cool yeah. music, yeah. all, all of the that. above. Everything, you know? everything. Cool art pieces. You that's know what I'm saying? Some amazing, amazing, amazing painters. Because everybody is like, no matter what, whatever way of life or, you know what I'm saying, walk of life that you come into, it's like, why you paint me big screen? It's like they... Are incorporated with the herb. Everybody uses the herb, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And yeah, it's really everybody. for creativity, you know what I'm saying? It can be used for so many different uses, of course, it's medicinal, but mainly creative wise, like all the creatives use herb. Like you That's said, true. with jazz, true. all of that, it's art, you know what I'm saying? So by you just tapping into that beyond just, okay, let me just, you know what I'm saying? It's medicinal and all that, but it's like the art part. That's, that's what I feel like that's gonna make y'all go away. That's a big dab. <laughs> what you dabbing on? <coughs> what you dabbing on? Boom extracts. Boom Gang extracts. <laughs> Sorry, Tangie. There's since we're you know on the sativa ship. Sativas? Woo! That's how you feeling? Yeah. Dele. Do I just okay? Just go for it. Should be, yeah. Should be. Oh, it looks smoky. That's a baby dab. Baby dab. Let's, let's warm it up. I'm, I'm, oh, man. Sweet. No, no baby lungs around here. We dab out. You dig? Better ask somebody. We dab out NBA players around here, man. You know who you are. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to call your name out. <laughs> I'm not. I didn't call the name out. I don't dab. Man. Okay. Oh, they are, oh, it's smoky now. That just got smoky. Clear it. Clear it. Clear it. Oh, he didn't clear it. He didn't clear it. <laughs> All right, now. Not clear shit. Bro, one, one. <laughs> you want to clear it? Baby, Bro, lung, yeah, lung, you lung, 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 lung. Yeah, you do. What? Man, you better go hit that. You were trying to hit that blunt. You better hit that Hit that dab. <laughs> I hit the blunt all day. I smoke four or five of these. Some dabs, they scare me, man. Dabs scare me. No, sir. Don't be scared, man. It's all herb. That's yes. I'll take this. Appreciate that. Watch your fingers. Don't burn yourself. This is some premium palm that we're consuming right now. I just want to say this. So is this a uh, bomb? That. Hey. <laughs> all this shit is bomb. <laughs> shit is crazy. Yes. It this is bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that's super high. It's, it's exclusive. Tough. It's blunt spill bonds. It's all of the above. This this herb that we are putting in our lungs is very yeah, very crazy, man. It's my favorite word. I thought I was see. I, I I looked at him when he said like you know like this, and I was like, okay, I'm about to escape here. No, no you're no, not. That, no, you're not. Like, it's no escaping. No. I skipped a lot. Yeah. I definitely skipped out. I, I know. You're gonna get the turf sweats in a minute. You're gonna get the turf sweats in a minute. Welcome to Peach Says we, TV, we stopped, fellas. We stopped allowing people to do dabs in our in our events because they was passing out. They was they was passing out flawless, <coughs> falling. They were doing a Kaepernick. They were doing a one knee. On one knee. That's and see that's why we try to promote a, a positive <laughs> culture of education at Peach Says TV. Do not hold in your dabs, people. Blow it out. If you hold it in, you will pass out. It hurts just. A, hey, Miss Peach Says is strong. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you. Yo, I appreciate you, really, for coming out, wanting to be here, you know, gang, all the time. And rolling these big I ass blunts. Right, exactly. Doinks. These okay. doinks. I mean, my, these doinks. <laughs> you big. I'm so fucking high right now. That shit. Thank you, guys. That was episode 28. Yo, we all grown. No, he said she be, she about to be 30. You finna that dirty 30, baby. Hey, hey. <laughs> 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 I 
make sure you guys were coming out again follow me at my social media hi little peach dc peach uh peach slash tv Terpiana, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe on the YouTube channel Peach Sesh, and also my YouTube um, WLVS Radio Two has all my shows. All right, do you want to give your Instagrams out before we uh, close out? Bomb DC B A U M D C, give us a follow. Right Thank you, Miss Peach Lady. All the blessings in the world. Thank you. Enjoy yourself, us. All right, you guys, we out. See you next Monday.